Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rumbling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Not just because I can. And they continue with Legacy of Kane Defiance Blind. Now, last time I finished the game, but I would still like to view all of the bonus materials that I gathered throughout the game. Uh, maybe it will clear something up or maybe it will be interesting. There is a making of video as well, which definitely will be interesting. So let's just go in order uh, throughout all of those menus. Uh, box art concept for the first game in the series, Blood Omen. Uh, ah, right, because the original, you know, I don't own a boxed copy, but I guess the original uh, cover depicts like Kane's face or something. Maybe. Uh, final box art. Yeah, yeah it, it shows it here. Hmm. That's a bit weird. I'm not sure if I like this cover very much. Yeah, but it's interesting to see how they arrived at that concept, at the very least. Um, early model, sh model sheets for Cain from Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. Mm, okay. Map of Nosgoth from Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. Well, I, that, that is well known to me because they played Blood Omen. So that's nothing new. Early concept sketches of Kane from Blood Omen. Wow, that 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 one on the left looks very disheveled. Like he, he looks like he hasn't uh, he hasn't ha he hasn't had a good drink, uh, you know, a, a good drink of blood in like centuries. His hair is all weird. He's like balding on the top of his head. That's kind of hilarious, actually. Kane as he appeared in Blood Omen Legacy of Kane. Yeah, again, kind of well known to me, seeing how I played that. Mm, the pillars have always been central to the Legacy of Kane story. The first game was originally named The Pillars of Nosgoth. Early Pillar Pillars production sketch from Blood Omen. Pillars Vista concept from Soul Reaver 2. The pillars as they appeared in Soul Reaver 1. A rare image from the de deleted assassination cinematic in Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. The human Cain depicted here with white armor and blonde hair. Hmm, blonde hair? He, he, he was always black haired, even when alive. So I guess th that has changed in development. Interesting, I wonder why, why they scrapped it. Maybe, maybe they didn't have time uh, to, to finish the cinematic. Early Kane concept art from Soul Reaver 1. Okay, I kind of like the finished version better. This one looks very weird. Mm, Japanese poster from Blood for, for Blood Omen Legacy of Kane named Kane the Vampire in Japan. Okay, I kind of like this more than the actual European cover, or rather the US cover or whatever, the, the Western cover. Mm, storyboard for Blood Omen Legacy of Cain end sequence, yeah, with the Cain sitting upon the throne of, of bones, right? Okay, mm, so Raziel's Arcane Tomes. Early Raziel concept sketches from Soul River 1. Hmm, he doesn't have a nose. It's interesting and kind of disconcerting. Hmm, that is a cool concept art. Raziel's dual nature. Okay. Concept art of Raziel for the magazine cover. Raziel image from Soul River 2 team shirt. 
early Mobius concept art from Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. Mobius's name was originally, originally Bridano. Mobius as he appeared in Blood Omen. Mobius as he appeared in Soul Reaver 2. Early Ariel concept art sketches from Blood Omen. Ariel was originally named Adonatiel. Production sketch of Vorador, Vorador's Mansion from Blood Omen. Early Vorador concept arts from Blood Omen. His name was, uh, was changed to Infernum at one point, but was art, uh, ultimately changed back to Vorador. Mm, did you honestly believe that you were the only vampire in Nosgoth? You are just a minor pole whose powers pale in comparison to mine. Oh yes, I am also a vampire. Your greater, your greatest flaw, my good fellow, is that you have a soul. You have a conscience that hinders your hunt to survive. I do not have that problem. I kill for fun. Says Vorador, apparently. And that's uh, uh, the depiction of the fight between Vorador and Malik. Original Mortanius sketches from Blood Omen. Yeah, I, I think he looked cooler in Blood Omen than he did here. He had like a death mask. Uh, and, and his armor was like molded to resemble a skeleton. Vampire Lieutenant Turel, early 3D renders. Hmm. Okay, uh, that didn't clear as much as I would have liked it to, but oh well. Let's view that uh, making of video. Maybe that will sort of, you know, be more uh, elucidating. Oh, hmm, quite a few. Okay, so characters first. Oh, just just concepts. I was hoping for an actual developer's commentary, mm, but I guess let's view those. That's Mortanius, Turel. Viewing those is not that interesting because I saw them in, literally in the game. So it's just going to be a bunch of pictures. That's not particularly fascinating, if you ask me.
Although that is a nice picture. Spear artifact, hard core artifact, soul stealing artifact, telescopes and blades that flick out. Okay. To be honest, that's a that's a bit weird uh, level of dedication to make concept arts for things that appear in like one uh, in one uh, scene in the game and are an element not even of the story itself but rather of a puzzle Legacy of Cain Defiance team. Uh, so that that, that are go the, going to be photos of the developers. Okay. Mm, credits I already viewed. The voice talent. The cast. Michael Bell from Raziel. I'm not my favorite voice actor. Like he did a good job. Don't, don't uh, like don't mm, don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying uh, the the voice actor himself did a bad job. What I'm saying is the character. Uh, I misspoke. I, I, what I what I meant was the character itself didn't have that much character. Ironically enough, to me, especially compared to Kane. In the other god, mm, Simon, Te Simon Templeman for Kane. Now that is, uh, you know, a voice acting job. I, I do uh, applaud quite uh, 
you know, quite vigorously. Uh, it's definitely something to remember. Uh, and it's aided a lot by the writing, because the writing for Kane, uh, even from uh, back from Blood Omen 1, was always pretty great. He, he always knew how to turn a phrase. Mm, Tony J, the Elder God. Now, this, this is also awesome. And by the way, isn't Tony J uh, Judge Frollo in The Hunchback of Notre Dame, the English version? I'm not, like I'm not entirely sure because obviously I grew up as a kid. I mm, watched dubbed versions of, of the Disney uh, films, so I watched them in Polish. But I sometimes listen to the songs in English, even nowadays. Mm, Richard Doyle, Mobius. Uh, okay, I'm not I'm not going to butcher this man's name, uh, who played Janos Odron. Wait, 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 wait a second here. Anna Gunn played Ariel. Th that is literally Skylar White, right? Am I am I going insane or or is that true? Th that is Skylar White from Breaking Bad. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> That's actually cool and weird. Um, uh, Paul Lokanta played Vorador. Okay. Uh, Alistair Duncan, Mortanius. Greg Berger played Terrell. BJ Ward, additional voices. Phil Proctor. Gordon Hunt, recording director. Uh, Chris Zimmerman Salter. Casting, direct, uh, casting director. <laughs> I wonder which one is it? Is it the dog? Was the dog the casting director for the game? I somehow doubt it. Although it's interesting, I've never seen the name Chris uh, as a woman's name. Okay. Hmm. So I guess that's it. That wasn't, excuse me, as enlightening as I hoped, uh, but, you know, a cool little tidbit to end the game. Uh, that is all for um, for Legacy of Kane Defiance and for Legacy of Kane the series at this point. Uh, it was great, I had a lot of fun, and it was totally worth it. So that's all for this one, I will see you in the next one. Bye!